It started as a faint murmur, an image never intended for human eyes, an oddity hidden deep within the raw streams of data from the James Webb Space Telescope. At first, only a few astronomers noticed a subtle anomaly in the spectrographic readings, a pattern far too exact, too measured, too deliberate. It wasn't a flare of cosmic dust, a dying star, or a comet. It was something else entirely, cold, precise, and deeply unsettling. The object, 3I Atlas, an interstellar wanderer already notorious for breaking the rules of physics, had appeared in a secret James Webb observation, upending everything we thought we knew. If the data held true, 3I Atlas was more than just another mysterious traveler from deep space. It might be watching us. Now, for the first time, the truth was beginning to leak out. When 3I Atlas was first spotted, astronomers assumed it was another interstellar comet, akin to Oumuamua and Borisov, strange objects from other star systems swinging past our sun before vanishing into the void. However, 3I Atlas immediately distinguished itself, not only by its trajectory and velocity, which raised eyebrows, but by its peculiar behavior. Unlike typical comets that develop a visible coma of water vapor and dust when approaching the sun, 3I Atlas stubbornly refused to follow this pattern. There was no coma, no tail, no water. Instead, it emitted only carbon dioxide, and in vast quantities while remaining eerily silent in all other spectrographic readings. NASA directed the powerful infrared spectrometer aboard the SphereX Observatory towards the object, expecting to confirm the presence of water or carbon monoxide, two gases almost always found in comets. Yet the result was nothing but carbon dioxide. No water, no carbon monoxide. This chemical profile had never before been recorded in the history of space observation. The answer was unsettling. We knew of no object that exclusively emitted CO2, not even the strangest comets in our solar system. If it wasn't acting like a comet or an asteroid, then what was it? As public interest mounted, NASA remained unusually silent. But behind closed doors, a more powerful telescope had already been tasked with observing 3I Atlas. The James Webb Space Telescope, renowned for its unprecedented resolution and spectrographic detail, was secretly tasked with observing the object on August 6, 2025. No images were released, no press conference followed, just silence. But now, a leaked report from an internal NASA analyst revealed what Webb might have captured, an object with no natural coma, but surrounded by a perfectly symmetrical CO2 halo, extending hundreds of thousands of kilometers into space. Even stranger, the infrared signature revealed an unusual brightness originating not from reflected sunlight, but from within the object itself. Was 3I Atlas emitting artificial light? According to the leaked spectrographic breakdown, the emissions bore similarities to engineered photonic systems, light patterns used in telecommunications or data transmission. The wavelengths weren't random, they were repeating, structured, like a cosmic Morse code. And if that weren't enough, the object was measured to be 46 kilometers in diameter, far larger than any other known interstellar object, and statistically too large to appear randomly. For a rock of that size to enter our solar system from interstellar space meant one of two things. Either our understanding of the universe was wildly flawed, or this object was sent here on purpose. Perhaps the most terrifying revelation wasn't its size, chemistry, or emissions, but its path. 3I Atlas did not enter the solar system on a chaotic slingshot course like Oumuamua. It arrived in perfect alignment with the orbital plane of the planets, a trajectory with only a 1 in 500 chance of occurring naturally. In other words, it flew in like a drone following a flight plan, passing near multiple planets, including Earth, before heading deeper into the solar system. Avi Lowe, the controversial Harvard astrophysicist, called the trajectory technologically suggestive, noting its approach angle was precise and designed to optimize observations from Earth-based and orbital telescopes, almost as if it wanted to be seen, but not fully understood. Its origin point traced back to the Sagittarius constellation, the same region of space where the infamous WOW signal was detected in 1977 one of the most credible pieces of evidence for an artificial transmission from deep space. What were the odds that the most enigmatic object ever observed in our solar system would originate from the exact same region?
As speculation mounted, a new theory emerged not grounded in science fiction, but in engineering feasibility. What if 3i Atlas wasn't a comet or asteroid at all, but a technologically augmented object? Imagine a massive asteroid from a distant star system hollowed out and retrofitted with internal machinery, sensors, or even an artificial habitat. It would be encased in dense rock to protect against cosmic radiation, with a thin layer of dry ice designed to sublimate to mask its internal structure. It would appear natural to distant observers unless someone looked closer. This concept isn't new. It has been proposed by scientists on Earth as a method for interstellar travel, asteroid ships using rocky bodies as natural shielding for long-duration space missions. Such an object could travel for thousands of years, powered by dormant engines or advanced propulsion systems hidden beneath a kilometer-thick crust. The spherix images combined with the spectrographic leak from Webb suggested this might no longer be mere theory. We might be looking at such an object right now. If it is artificial, the implications are staggering. Someone or something sent it. While most public data from Webb focused on exoplanets and distant galaxies, encrypted internal logs leaked by anonymous sources inside NASA revealed something unexpected in the light curves emitted from 3i Atlas. What was initially interpreted as random thermal emission began displaying an unmistakable modulation pattern. At first glance, it looked like flickering, an optical illusion perhaps caused by the object's rotation. But deeper spectral decomposition revealed pulses matching prime number sequences, the kind often proposed by SETI scientists as a universal mathematical language for contact. These were not natural. They were not coincidental. They were repeating at precise intervals mimicking beacon-like transmissions across multiple infrared bands. What truly sent chills down the spines of analysts, however, was the discovery of a silent gap between these bursts of light, a long pause, almost as if something was listening, waiting for a reply. It was no longer just a matter of observing 3i Atlas. It was as though this object was actively observing us back. NASA's response was an immediate lockdown of all observational data. Observatories were told to cease tracking or publicly publishing new findings. The story was dead to the media. But for those who had seen the light signature, there was no turning back. Following the leak of the internal web data, an unusual uptick in satellite redirection requests was reported across NASA and ESA channels. These weren't standard reorientations for routine calibration, they were reassignments directed from military defense agencies, specifically NORAD and the U.S. Space Force. Within 48 hours of the observation leak, the X-37B, a classified military space plane, was launched into low Earth orbit on an unannounced mission. Its payload remained a mystery, but orbital path reconstruction suggested a highly elliptical trajectory with line-of-sight potential toward 3i Atlas's projected path. Why would the U.S. military deploy its most secretive space platform in response to an anomalous asteroid? What were they preparing to do? Observe it or intercept it? Behind closed doors, defense briefings began classifying 3i Atlas under a new threat category. Technological unknowns of extraterrestrial origin, type EOS. These internal memos, never meant to be public, confirmed what many had suspected. This object wasn't merely a scientific anomaly. It was now a strategic concern that might warrant a response. As scientists delved deeper into the possibility of artificiality, a small but daring group of astrobiologists proposed an even more unsettling theory. What if 3i Atlas wasn't just a technological probe, but something alive? Not in the traditional biological sense, but as a hybrid system, part machine, part biological organism capable of evolution and decision-making on interstellar timescales. This concept, known as biomechanical synthesis, had been discussed in fringe research circles for decades. Organisms that use metal frameworks, radiation-absorbing skins, and AI-like neural networks to survive in the vacuum of space, evolving not by biology alone, but by intelligence. If this is what 3i Atlas is, then it wasn't just sent, it may have sent itself. It may be autonomous, 
capable of adapting its behavior based on environmental feedback, capable of choosing targets or destinations or planetary systems to observe, systems like ours. Despite the overwhelming data, the official narrative remained, it's a comet, it's debris, nothing to worry about. But deep within NASA, ESA, and the Webb Consortium, a silent panic brood. Sources within the SETI Institute hinted at conversations no one was willing to record, discussions of non-human cognition. A theory emerged. 3i Atlas wasn't a vessel, a fragment, or even an object, but a thought a non-biological intelligence encoded in structure, movement, radiation, and silence. It didn't need propulsion because it manipulated gravitational fields. It didn't speak because it communicated through patterns and positioning. It didn't observe through optics. It used entanglement to perceive systems across time. James Webb might not have discovered an alien ship. It may have discovered an alien mind, and it was staring back. So now we ask ourselves, what exactly did the James Webb Telescope see? Not a comet, not debris, not a random visitor from deep space. It saw something that shouldn't exist, something that shouldn't move, shouldn't emit signals, and definitely shouldn't be staring back. Because if 3i Atlas is truly more than just an object, if it is a signal, a mind, or a cosmic intelligence slowly spiraling toward Earth with intention, then James Webb didn't just capture a photo. It triggered a reaction. It became part of the pattern. It became the observed. And in the deepest silence of space, something responded. A countdown has begun, a map has been drawn, a signal is growing stronger, and NASA isn't panicking because they don't understand. They're panicking because they finally do. The question is no longer what 3i Atlas is, it's why now, why Earth, and what happens when the countdown finally hits zero. Because if James Webb was right, and all the data points to that chilling truth, then this object isn't just passing through, it's coming home.